Hello everybody, welcome back to Pokemon White version numero dos. Uh, last time we got here to Verbank City where we will hopefully at some point take on the next gym leader. But right now we're going to go down here into the, uh, I, I think it's called like the Verbank Complex. I don't know, it's, it's a big, uh, like a processing area. I don't know, it's... It's full of tanks and pipes and, well, not, not war tanks, like storage tanks. and It's just a big, kind of, you know, port side distribution processing center kind of thing. I don't know what you want to call it. But uh, that one guy that we just talked to back there a little bit ago, he said that he wants me to kind of, uh, I don't know, I, I guess motivate his workers there's only three workers for this whole complex and I guess I need to go and battle them to motivate them to work harder so you know maybe that's all we need to do to stimulate jobs here in America is go out and battle small animals with them and you know that'd be fun and I, I think it'd be fun to just you know walk into a big distribution center and say hey you know I'm gonna get you guys to work harder Let's have a battle! Woo! I don't know, but... We battle that kid. He doesn't even work here. He's just down here for fun. Um... I'm really kind of counting on these battles to help train up my Pokemon. Um... I'll probably spend an episode after this, or maybe even longer, training everyone up, because... This area, it's kind of hard to train everyone, since... Um, in this version, it's full of electric types, and then it's got coughing and all of them, so really the only one that I can train here is Tepig, because, you know, uh, Psyduck won't do absolutely anything against Magnemites and Elekids, and, um, Seawaddle really has nothing on the P-Dubs and the coughings here, so really, this is gonna be a Tepig heavy kind of episode. Probably gonna have to visit the Pokemon Center a few times, because if you've noticed, we're kind of around the same level type area. Um, I'm not really that prepared. I still need to level a little bit more. And, um, yeah. Tepig's gonna get a lot of training in this one. Probably won't evolve yet. I mean, if I was Tepig, I wouldn't evolve until we get to maybe Castelia City. I don't know. But, ooh, yes, we're learning Flame Charge. Oh, such a great, brilliant move. Especially since my Tepig is low on speed. Finally, we might be able to, you know, keep up with things. Ah, ooh, water, you are my savior. Um, yeah, we should have stocked up on antidotes or something before we came down here. Should have known everything would be poison. Oh, cut my, a coughing. Ugh, you poison types. Actually, uh, right before I was record- right before I started doing this, I was recording more of the game, and right now I'm in Nimbasa City, and I'm gonna tell you, my team right now that I have at that point still isn't very good with electric types, and especially Zebstrikas completely just blow through my whole team. I'm probably going to need a lot more training at that point, but that's way down the road, like 10 more episodes. <laughs> I'm I'm not, I didn't sugarcoat it when I first said it a couple episodes ago. I'm not going to sugarcoat it now. This is going to go a lot faster than my previous playthrough. I mean, I think I was in the episode 20s, maybe close to 30 by the time I got to Nimbasa, and right now I'm... I just recorded episode 16, and I'm already at the Nimbasa gym. So, spoilers, I make it that far. I don't rage quit by then. Actually, I, I don't plan on rage quitting this game, but um, with the release of Pokemon Black and White 2, I don't know how many of you people saw this. Well, what do you mean by you people? Well, I don't, I don't know how many of you got, well, I can't really say you guys, because that doesn't go with the female audience. Maybe you people won't know that does sound, sound kind of racist, too. Because, you know, I could be, you know, referencing only a single type of... Oh, I'm not going to go there. Um, how many of you... There we go. Um, 
Ah, I lost where I was going with that sentence. Um, with the release of Black and White 2, uh, I guess PETA made their glorious revenge, whatever you want to call it, just like they did when, um, Super Mario World 3D came out. Or, was it Super Mario World 3D? I think it was. Whatever the one for the 3DS that came out that w had the, uh, Tanuki suit. Um, they made another game. Um, it's based on Pokemon, and it's called Pokemon Black and Blue version. And I'm not gonna lie, I already tried it out, I already beat it, it wasn't really that hard. Um, you play as Pikachu, and you actually battle people to try to gain your freedom. And then, as you beat people, you get more Pokemon on your team. And You only battle four people, you battle Charon, and then, um... It was Charon, Professor Juniper, um, who was the one after that? Oh, uh, Getsis, and then Ash. And along the way, you get Tepig, Oshawott, and Snivy to go along with Pikachu, and they made them all look, you know, really beat up and, you know, covered in bandages and missing ears and tails and having collars and having wounds and all that, and then all the people they made look like deranged psychopaths, and all the attacks were really weird, like I think Pikachu had uh, Quick Attack and Thundershock, and then his other two attacks were um, Hug, and um, I can't remember what the last one was, but those moves were kind of like stat decreasing moves. And then the trainers you were battling had these really kind of messed up moves. Like, I remember, I think it was either Juniper or Ash who had a pair of scissors and they would clip your tail. Something like that. I don't know. I know Juniper would stab you with a syringe and poison you. I don't know, it's a really messed up game, but I guess at the end if you beat everyone, you, I guess, save Pokemon, because I guess you're working for Team Plasma or something, I don't know. I also know that every time you beat someone, uh, you would get a free clip, but they're not really that good. It's just PETA videos on animals being mistreated. I think the first one was butchering of chickens. I don't know, I didn't watch any of them that far. Actually, I don't really think I watched it. I only clicked on the first one to see what the clip actually was. I didn't know if it was like a tie-in to the game or anything, but it was just a PETA video, so I just closed out of it. I don't know if that makes me a bad person. I mean, I love animals, but still, uh, it's really PETA. It's it's a game, and these Pokemon, well, Pokemon in general, they're, you know, this is kind of their life. I mean, even in the wild, they battle each other. I mean, animals in real life battle each other. I mean, males battle over dominance, over mates, um, over land, all that kind of thing. And honestly, if someone's walking around with Pokemon as their friends and then they stop and have friendly battles with each other, that's not really that bad. I mean, Pokemon get free healthcare. I mean, how could, how could that be such a terrible thing? I mean, I'm pretty sure if the trainer got hurt, he would still have to pay an arm and a leg to get, you know, a cast. But, you know, a Pokemon gets the hell beaten out of it, and... Oh! Free of charge! We'll heal it up! Simple as that. But, I, I don't know, I'm... I, it seems like, for one, PETA only goes after Nintendo games, and two, they just kind of need to leave gaming alone. I mean... Go have a problem with something else. It's really Tanuki suits aren't that bad. Pokemon training isn't that bad. Actually, I don't see any problem with it at all. I mean, as far as I know, Pokemon like to battle. I mean, if they didn't, they wouldn't want to be caught. I put two to two together, you know. But yeah, I I guess they're doing what they believe in, and I'm doing what I believe in. So you know. Let bygones be bygones, we'll all just go our separate ways and do what we want to do. Well, as long as they don't try to mess up my Pokemon, because if PETA tries to shut down my Pokemon, I'm coming over there and I'm going to slap them.
Uh, not really slap every individual member, just really slap who made the decision and slap who tried to carry it out. That's like two pimp slaps right there. Or maybe maybe one if they're lucky and it was the same person that made both decisions. I don't know. But, you know, enough about PETA. We're, we're not here to talk about PETA. We're not here to talk about any other organizations. Well, we could talk about Team Plasma, but they're kind of like the Pokemon PETA. And, well, that joke has been made a lot since the original Black and White came out, and I think it's kind of been overused. Um, I don't really think we need to go into that anymore. Because, you know, Team Plasma was doing what they th believed they needed to do. You know? Pokemon need to be liberated from trainers. I mean, I, I honestly can see how Pokemon would not be happy since we can't really talk to them and whatnot, but... Yeah, you, I'm, I'm not gonna go into dark territory like that, but... Back to the game, if you just saw right there, if you had actually paid attention to the game the whole time I was going on... Um... Wow, I just realized that... The layout... For... St uh, stupid layout. For some reason, it didn't save the word badge over the badges. And honestly, if I want to fix that, I have to go back and re-render videos I already made. Ah, such a pain in the ass. But I guess that won't be too big of a problem. Going back to... Actually, it would be a problem because I did that in Word before I put it into my picture editing software. Dead, forget it. It's it's fine. I don't need the word badge there because I'm pretty sure people can see that those are badges. But if you didn't see, we beat the three workers there, and then we talked to the foreman, and he gave us TM94 for Rock Smash. So that's how you get Rock Smash. If anyone had any problems figuring that out, it's right there. Boom, shakalaka. Have fun. But you know, now that I'm thinking about it, I probably should go back and fix the layout because if I don't I'm gonna be getting comments on probably every single video did you know that there's a problem with the layout I you forgot the word badge over badges you're a moron I can't believe you didn't fix this by episode 6 it's really it's it's a small title and I'm pretty sure everyone can figure it out I mean if I forgot to put the words Pokemon version or Pokemon White version 2 up at the top, then that would have been a problem, but still, it's it's not really that crucial. I mean, you can tell kind of what game it is by one, the title of the video, and two, by what I'm playing. And hopefully, three, by the picture of White Kyurem right there behind the smaller screen. But. Yeah, right now we're just going to do a little bit of training. Um, I can't remember how much... Let me check how much time is left in this video. Um... Um... Oh, it's cool. It's almost done. Only, like, two more minutes. Sweet. Okay, what can I talk about for two minutes? Um... I... Love... Pie. But I cannot tell you how much I love pie. I mean, apple pie, uh, pumpkin pie... Peach pie, cherry pie, lemon pie, oh, the best one, French silk pie. Oh, so good. This guy was talking about tanks storing fuel. I don't know what the hell he was doing here. I mean, yeah, that's probably what these tanks are doing, but was he really a necessary NPC? I mean, he talks about tanks, and then he just leaves. He's probably some scientist working for Team Plasma. I don't know. He's, he's just there, I guess. I don't know, after this, I'm probably going to have to look at all the layouts. I mean, I probably won't... Well, I guess I could fix them when I'm done recording these. I wanted to record as many audios as I could. Especially since I don't have school tomorrow. I can try to stay up as late as I can tonight. So, if I could actually record a lot right now. I mean, honestly, what I have uploaded on YouTube is pretty much all I've... Uh, rendered and uploaded so far. I've got four episodes on there. I mean, I have five recorded from last night, but um, I never got the fifth episode recorded or rendered, not recorded. And uh, so I've only got four up there now, and I've got 16 
videos recorded, and if I could get through like 10 or so, on like episode 10, not 10 more videos done tonight, then I could do another 5 tomorrow night, and that'd just be perfect. Although I really should be getting my homework done. Oh well, this... In my eyes, this is important too, because, you know, this I enjoy doing this. School, I, it's important, but it, it, honestly, look me in the eye and tell me you enjoy doing school. I mean, I know this sounds like such a juvenile thing to talk about, but does anyone really enjoy going to school? I mean, you may have friends at school, you may have cool teachers at school, you may have fun classes, but... Honestly, I think you ask anyone and they would tell you that they would rather stay home than go to school and have to sit on their ass listening to someone talk for eight hours. Of course, that's just my thought on the matter. I, I can't speak for the general public. Um, I think that might be close to the end of our training here. Probably do some off-screen training after this. Um, I really need to get Psyduck up. I gotta get that confusion on him if I'm going to stand any kind of a chance against Roxy. Because honestly, uh, Sea Waddle isn't gonna do anything in that gym, and I can't rely on Tepig forever. Because you know Tepig's amazing, but we've gotta share screen time. Especially since, you know, Tepig would get paid too much if he's the only character. I mean, yeah, I pay them. Um, 250 Poke Dollars an episode, on uh, an extra 2,000 if they evolve, and a few rare candies if they actually beat a gym. So, that's it, everyone. Um, thank you all for watching. I hope you didn't get annoyed by my rant. Um... I'll talk to you all later. See you.